WCW only held three pay-per-views in 2001 before being sold to World Wrestling Entertainment. The iconic WCW sin in January, the revolutionary Super Brawl revenge in February, and of course the game-changing WCW greed in March. You should ask your older brother about these shows, unless the animal reveal its sin turned him off to wrestling forever, which is likely. All three shows combined to draw as many fans as WWE's January event alone in that year, and were all headlined by Scott Steiner defending the World Heavyweight Championship. Newer fans may remember Scott Steiner as the guy trying to murk Hulk Hogan. At the time, critics and historians all blamed the low box offices and pay-per-view buys on the notoriously weak drawing cards of Kevin Nash, Jeff Jarrett, Sid, and Diamond Dallas Page all title challengers to Scott Steiner. But WCW died after greed, and here we are. 15 years later, could we have all been wrong back then? Could we have overlooked the real problem? Must we face the question that none of us thought possible to ever reasonably ask? Was Scott Steiner not a draw?